there. I just wanted to say that I'm on my way to Walmart. Um, they said that um, my Manjaro is ready, uh, $25. Um, sorry, no makeup today. Uh, eyebrows are looking like a madman. I'm letting them grow out, as you can see. So, um, but they're going to look really nice when I'm done. I'm going to um, really give them a really good arch. Um, so, you know, you got to you gotta look a mess before you look right, right? So anyway, um, we're going to go to Walmart and uh, do a little bit of shopping and pick up my Manjaro. And I will touch base with you once I get it, just, just to make sure, you know, because the automated system says that it's ready and that it's only $25, but we won't know until I actually get it in my hand. So I will see you guys then. Bye. Hey everyone, I am here at Walmart getting the shopping done. Um, mm -hmm. Your flashlight is on. I don't know if you know the Oh, okay, yeah, because I was filming. Oh, okay. <laughs> Doing my little vlog. <laughs> Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Um, that was so nice of him, wasn't it? Um, we've got some nice people in the world, don't we? We still do, guys. We just got to look for that good and people straight up I really do mean that um I remember when this used to be six dollars and 48 cents I this was my favorite brand of cat litter well my second favorite brand and it's now nine dollars and 48 cents you see that what a difference what a difference well I haven't gotten I haven't picked my Manjaro up yet I just wanted to get some shopping done and and um, I'll go pick it up um, but I want to let you guys know that um, now by the time you I upload this video, it will probably be days later. Um, so if there's a time discrepancy, you'll now you know why. Um, I have lost weight, guys. I haven't seen it yet. Um, I mean, not seen it. I mean, I haven't did the uh, weigh-in yet. I don't need to. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't need to weigh myself because I see it and I feel it. And it's not, I'm not, I'm happy. But when I tell you where I lost weight at, you're, you'll see why I'm not happy <laughs> about that. Um, I have lost weight in my hands. I see that. I see that I've lost weight in my hips and so forth. Thank God I have a tummy tuck, you know, so... Um, my waist has gotten smaller. Um, I'm happy about that. I thank the Lord for that. But you know what, guys? I lost weight in my behind. My buttocks, my glutes, my ass, whatever you want to call it. And I, I see the difference. When I stand, when, you, when I do a side view, I've lost the roundness, you know, the curve. And... Um, that saddens me because we live in a society where having a booty is like really important and it makes you feel good about yourself. So now, <laughs> I mean, I, it wasn't like I had a, a real big, you know, butt in the first place. Um, you know, so the butt that I had, I was trying to hold on to. <laughs> you know, I mean, not even my sisters, my, none of my sisters, none of us. My mom, she's got a booty. My grandmother had a booty. But we got the lesser of the booties. We got the muscular legs. We got that, you know. But, um, so anyway. So I was really disappointed when I put my yoga pants on and saw that, oh my God, where did my little butt go? You know, so it is what it is. You know, we can't pick and choose where that weight loss comes from. I wish that we could, but all we can do is sculpt. And I will tell you this, if you are a female who does, who is booty conscious, for me, I'll tell you what worked. When I used to be in shape, and oh gosh, I was looking at some of my pictures um, last night when I had muscle tone and definition and oh my gosh, when I had all of that, um, oh man, and I was grateful and I appreciated it. But here's the thing, it was never enough. I always wanted more, you know what I'm saying? And now that I don't have it like I had it before, I miss what I do have, you know? Um, oh my God, I miss my arms. Woo! 
All right. Well, anyway, guys, um, I used to do, uh, what do you call it? Glute bridges. And that's where you lay down and you're in a, um, a position where your hands are flat and you're like in a missionary position, but you lift your hips and up off of the uh, floor like a bridge glute bridges I'm sure you guys probably know that worked for me I mean like crazy it was a tremendous difference the glute bridges rounded out my butt made my butt grow and I loved it but I had to keep doing it and I had to keep doing it you know and put weight on my hips and stuff but it is something that will work in the meantime I think I'll just go get a padded panty so I can feel a little bit better in my yoga pants <laughs> I thought I had to share that craziness with you guys Look guys, can you see that? There's my Manjaro in a bag. You see it? In the refrigerator. That's the only Manjaro that's there. In the refrigerator. I have to come back and get my Manjaro because I forgot today was Saturday and it closed at 9. But it's sitting there waiting for me to come and pick up. So I just thought I would show share that with you. This video is kind of like a compilation because I'm stopping and then starting. So like I said, when the time I upload this video, it will not be Saturday. But there's my Manjaro and my heart is beating rapid. <laughs> See ya. Hey guys, I'm sitting here in my husband's vehicle, my husband's Jeep. He's picking up Chinese food. And... I am just chilling and I just thought I would pop on and say hi and give you guys a view of where we're at um, I wanted to talk about something that I noticed I've been looking at some different videos on YouTube and reading other people's comments and different things and I have found and I'm probably late on this but there is so many people that are not having luck with success rather with Manjaro and what I'm talking about is and I I feel so bad but there are a lot of people who have been taking Manjaro for months and had no weight loss and it's just sad to me because I can imagine the pain that they must feel I can own and the disappointment that they must feel where they're seeing everybody's talking about they're losing all this weight on Manjaro and you got a group of people who can't lose any weight off of it I do not understand that there's one lady that was on uh, YouTube that she couldn't understand why everybody else was losing 10 pounds every month and she lost less weight than I did. She started the same month that I did. I started September 17th. She started September 12th and she only lost 13 pounds. And you know, just when you think that you're not, you know, and then you go and you see somebody else who, you know, is even behind you and you just have to be grateful and thankful. And she was like, you know, she couldn't get it. She was like, why, is the, why are you losing all this weight and I'm not? And, you know, and there's so many factors in it. A person's metabolism, whether or not they're going through perimenopause or not, they're, whether or not they have thyroid disease, there are so many factors. If you are low on testosterone, that can prevent you from losing weight. If you're not drinking enough water, there that can prevent you from losing weight. There are so many components that will not give you the success that you want. And it's hard to stay in your own lane. I know it. It's hard. Even if you're staying in your own lane, right? And you're doing what works for you. And then something pops on the screen where they lost 30 pounds in three months. It does something to you. You know, you're happy for them. Of course you're happy for them. But there's a, a, a pain that you feel like, you know, what's wrong with me? What am I doing wrong? Or what's wrong with my body? And why is it not working for me why is it working for them so effortlessly and not you know for me so my little thing is I just encourage everybody to just stay in their own lane and try 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 not to let you know things discourage them 
and to remember that a little weight loss is better than no weight loss and to remember that you know there are people out there that ain't losing any weight on Manjaro and that's worse than losing 10 pounds I mean that's worse than just losing two pounds a month you know and like I was saying previously when I was in Walmart you know, I look at the pictures of what I used to look like, and I look at myself now, and it's, it's it hurts. I'm not going to lie to you. It hurts, you know, but it is what it is, and I encourage everyone to just take one day at a time. And if that's too much, take one minute at a time. Take one moment at a time, you know, because this is a, a, this is a serious thing. And just do the best that you can for your self-care and self-love and I learned this the hard way you are more than what you look like remember this if I broke down on the road and I need someone to give me a jump and you look gorgeous right you look gorgeous but you don't know how to give me a jump what good are you <laughs> how are you gonna help me and then someone who doesn't look as good as you come along and they know how to give me a jump and even know how to prevent me from my battery from dying again but they don't look as good as you but they were useful so my point is you are more than what you look like you're more than that so be encouraged sorry about the lighting but so guys be encouraged and I will see you in the next couple of minutes okay well good day everyone I hope you all are having a blessed day I just want to let you know that I have my Manjaro. This is my second 15 milligram box. And let's, let's pop this bad boy open. What the heck, right? Do you guys ever inject in your stomach? I always inject in my outer thigh, alternating when I can remember. Um, the reason I chose the thigh as opposed to the stomach because it's easier and I can actually see that it's going down into my um, thigh as opposed to it being sideways this way. I I wanted to I want gravity to make sure that it all gets in. You know what I mean? So that's why I do that. And I notice that whenever it's on the outer, the upper outer part of the thigh, the outer thigh where the quadri the higher quadricep, I don't feel any pain. I don't feel any sting. I don't feel anything like that. So um that's good. So this is this is all of it. And they got it in there one alternating, you know, one way this way and it's legit. It's all in there. Nothing empty. And so that's good. So I look forward to taking my first 15 milligram injection um, this Friday. Knowing me, I, will, I won't wait until Friday. I'll do it th probably Thursday night. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, so far, so good no problems and i'm just taking it day by day month by month so we shall see what next month brings okay guys i'm gonna hop off uh my voice is not worth a <laughs> worth a mess of anything than right now so i'm going to talk to you guys later but like i said make sure that you transfer your prescriptions if you're having a problem at one pharmacy you have those options and that's the good thing about this there's always options you know so um you guys have a wonderful day and enjoy your week and i will see you in the next video